Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this modern tower house. I have another weird one for you. Ever since I made my modern cube house, and you guys really seem to love that, I've, I've been wanting to make some stranger looking houses, and well, this one definitely qualifies as such. I, I'm not sure whether you guys will like this one. If you do, please do remember to smack that like button. It really helps me out, and legend has it that it actually turns red if you smack it. Let me know whether that's true. I'd really like for you guys to tell me that down there in the comment section if you do try it please do like the video also subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content if you subscribe say hello and also do click the little bell next to the subscription button and that will ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box now this tower house is actually pretty cool so the idea is quite simple we have a big tower in the middle and we have loads of modern looking buildings hanging off the tower and each one of those like modern like modules or whatever you'd like to call them, the colourful bits, are individual rooms. So here we have a nice little bit of an alchemy room. As you can see, you've got plenty of room for loads of chests and you have a decent amount of floor space, honestly. And if you were to work your way up the tower and you worked your way to the next room, so here we have a nice, beautiful yellow room. Here we have, it's pretty much just a general crafting room. We have a crafting table, we have a furnace, we have loads and loads of chests, many more than we may even need. And if we work our way all the way up to the final level, the third level, we have ourselves, ah, oh, lovely, we just have ourselves a a nice bedroom once again more area more uh, more storage space than we may ever need and you can't actually get up to the very top of the tower where you can't poke yourself out of the top of the tower but this is the tower house guys and of course the tower can be made bigger it can be made different colors you can customize this tower in any way shape or form that you want you can make it bigger and bigger and bigger and you could just have a giant tower if you so wish but Remember guys, if you like this video, please do smack that like and subscribe to the channel. But I think that I should probably show you how to make this thing now because there's not really too much else to say about it. It's a very simple concept for a house. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some cyan hardened clay, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some black stained glass blocks, some red hardened clay, some yellow hardened clay, some lime hardened clay, some red stained glass paint, some yellow stained glass paint, and some lime stained glass paint. And those are the only materials that we should need need to make the actual house of course we'll need like ladders and chests and stuff if we do plan on doing the interior but that is of course completely up to you guys so once you have all of these materials and you might want to pause make sure you've got them all and once you've figured out where you want to make it and i can let you guys know that this house will fit in a nine block that's nine blocks going towards the back by a 17 block area so that is 17 blocks coming across the front and nine blocks black so if you want to you can kind of like make this little rectangular shape on the floor again 17 blocks uh, long and like nine blocks like deep However you want to say, it's kind of difficult because it's kind of like on the floor, long, width, whatever. That is the size of the rectangle that you want to make the house in. And if you do make the rectangle on the floor, just like me, so you can better plan out the house, you want to begin on the very bottom front left-hand corner of your rectangle. You want to count in and you want to find the ninth block in. So this is the first block, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And you want to count in by two. One, two, come in towards the center. And on top of this block, you actually want to stack yourself. You want to stack two blocks coming off the ground. So that's one and two. They can be glass. They can be anything. It's not important because we'll knock them out later. Then place a block of quartz. On top of that block of quartz, place two black stained glass blocks coming up. That's one and two. Then on top of that, place a block of quartz. On top of that block of quartz, stack three glass. That's one, two, and three. Then place a block of quartz. Then do two glass, one and two. Then a block of quartz. Then three glass, one, two, and three. Then a block of quartz. Two glass, one and two. Then a block of quartz. Then three glass once again. That's one, two, and three. Then one block of quartz. And then three glass. One, two, and three. And that is where that stops. And you'll end up with a row that should look very much like that. That is exactly what you guys want to have. Now, once you've got that row sorted out, this is what we are going to do next. So, we want to take the row left and right of this, well, 
big giant row of glass and quartz, and we want to do rows of cyanhardened clay all the way up the left hand side and the right hand side of the row. So coming all the way out from the top to the bottom, you want to do exactly as I've described, like that. Then, coming backwards, diagonally from each one of these cyan stained clay rows, you want to place a block of quartz on the ground like this, coming backwards diagonally, and you want to raise that block of quartz upwards until that block of quartz is as high, is as high as the cyan hardened clay, like this. And the only difference is, actually guys, this is one thing, um, you want to make sure that that top block of quartz is actually a quartz stairs facing outwards like this. Then, next to the quartz, you want to do a layer of black stained glass block, and these want to come directly behind the rows of quartz slash quartz stair, and you want a row of glass coming directly behind. Then, do a row of block of quartz directly behind the glass, making sure that the top block is once again a quartz stair, so do that behind each one of these rows. And do remember once again that the top block is a quartz stair. Then, coming backwards and inwards diagonally, we want to have two more rows of cyan hardened clay. So coming all the way up to the top, as high as all of the other rows that we have, you want to have your cyan and your quartz. So you want to have something which should look like that. So you want to have your cyan, there we go, coming all the way up from the back. Now, we want to connect these two rows of cyan together at the back, and we want to connect them like this. We want to connect them in a very specific way, guys. So, first of all, we want to begin from the bottom by doing a row of five glass coming up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Then place a block of quartz. Then do a row of three glass. One, two, three then a block of quartz. And by the way, you can kind of like cut this short by copying what you have on the front. Then do a row of two glass, block of quartz. Then a three glass, block of quartz. Two glass, block of quartz. Three glass, block of quartz. Three glass, you've hit the top. So that is what you want to have for your tower. Perfect. Now, once you have the tower sorted out, all we have to do is we have to do the individual modules, which, of course, attach to the tower. So, first thing we're going to do, and we're actually missing material for this, funnily enough, uh, we need the black stained glass pane, and um, down at the entrance of the tower, where you have this row of block of quartz, where you have the single block of quartz on top of the two glass, knock out the glass below the block of quartz, place a quartz slab in front of the lower half of the block of quartz, place a quartz stairs left and right of that slab, and then connect those stairs downwards using black stained glass paint to the ground like this, and that is the entrance to the tower. You then want to take the block of quartz that we have ever so slightly higher up here, so just like two rows away separated by the glass. You want to take this block of quartz and extend it out in front by two, one, two, like this. Then extend that second block of quartz to the left by eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend that eighth block backwards by eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then extend it towards the tower again by eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight connect it back to the tower. Well, now that you've done that once, you actually want to do the exact same thing again with the next block of quartz just above it. So it's just three rows above you want to do the same thing. And if you're sure that you got it right the first time, you can just copy what you have just below you and that will save you a lot of counting to eight. So just copy what you have below you. So you want to have something which should look like that. Also, you can do the same thing to the top two pairs of quartz. So if you come all the way to the top, you can do the same thing to the top two pairs of quartz. And if you do, and if you're sure that your two pairs down below are right, you can kind of like just look down below and you can kind of like match up what you have down below all the way up here. And I do believe that that is correct. Actually, that row might be ever so slightly too big. There we go. But it's basically the same thing that you've just done. It's like a lot of counting to eight, but you can use the lower set of quartz to kind of like measure where you have to place it up top. So you don't have to count it out over and over and over again. All you have to do is, like I said, you just have to match it to what you have down below. 
Now, this middle set of block of quartz that we have right here, we want to do a similar thing to these. So each one of these blocks, you want to do the same thing, but you want to extend the block of quartz outwards by two, one, two. Then this time you want to extend them to the right by eight. So it's the same thing, just opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then backwards by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then to the right by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then connect it to the tower. And that is what you want to do to the center pair of quartz. That is all you want to do. Very, very simple indeed. And once you've got that taken care of, I mean, what else, what else can I say? You've done the majority of this wonderful tower house. Now, the only thing that we're going to do now is we are going to fill in the floors of each one of the particular towers. So, as you can see, you have three, I said three towers, but three modules on the tower. You want to fill in the floors of each one of the modules. Um, I'm only going to be filling in the bottom floor, so I'm not going to fill in, like, the top part of the modules i'm only filling in the floors the bottom part and then that is going to allow us to do the next bit which is also very very easy and then we can fill the roofs in in a bit of a different way but take each one of the bottom sets of quartz and just fill them in with quartz themselves or you can choose a different color and fill them in um with your different color it's, it's kind of completely up to you and that's the wonderful thing about this house in general so you just want to have something which should look like that now, we have to actually add in the extra color to these uh, modules. So, what you basically want to do is in front of the rows of cyan that you have towards the center of the tower, you want to take whatever color you want it to be, and you want to make it like this one, for instance, as you can see, is red hard and clay. So, you want to make it the color you want to. You want to place it in front. Then, you want to trace along the bottom of each particular module, each particular floor, and you just want to extend it to the right, leaving a gap of one going all the way around the edge of the floor, like this, and connecting it to the opposite part of the tower. You want to do the same thing, leaving a gap of one just above. As you can see, you want to do the same thing, just leaving a gap of one just above. And you want to, like I said, you want to connect it on the back, and you want to have a solid row of, like, red or whatever color it may be on the back. And then you can just fill in the center of these with your colored glass. So, for instance, this one is red stained glass paint, as you can see. Um, if you do a different color one, then do a different color. And filling the tops in is very, very easy. Um, you can either fill them in with red hardened clay or insert color here or, you know, whatever, whatever it is you want to fill them in with. But I'm going to be filling the top of mine in with red hardened clay. It's just going to have two spaces. Then if we come all the way up to the second floor here, I'm going to place a row of yellow hardened clay in front of the cyan. Then I'm going to take the bottom yellow hardened clay. I'm going to extend it all the way across and back and connect it to the very back of my tower as well. And then I'm going to have an, a, a parallel row of yellow hardened clay, just one row above. And I'm going to have this time, of course, um, yellow stained glass um, in between the two yellow hardened clay rows. And this will form a nice floor here, just like that. And I'll have the same thing right at the top floor here, except, of course, this time I'm going to be using lime green. I just realized I've not filled in the roof of that particular floor, which is fine. We can get to that in just a second. It won't take very long. But we just want to fill um, this particular um, floor in like this. And then we will be done -zo. So we just have to fill that in. Going to fill uh, the space in between in with glass paint. And then we can just fill the top of it in with our lime hardened clay. And then we can do whatever it is we want. And the only thing that you might want to do after this, after you've done this, if you do actually plan on um, using the house, if you do actually plan on having a living space in the house, I'll show you um, where the floors all go. Although I'm sure you guys can figure that out. No problem for yourselves. But there you go. We have all the roofs filled in. And then when we look at the tower like this, there we go. We have a very beautiful looking tower. And uh, like I said, if you 
you now want to um, add some floors in and stuff like that, first of all, you'll just need some uh, ladders, and you want to run a row of ladders coming all the way up, like one of the back corners of the tower, coming all the way up to the top, um, coming all the way up the um, like the back row of Cyan or the front row of Cyan, and you just want to knock in to each one of the particular floors here, and wherever you knock into the floor, so wherever um, that particular row is, um, you just want to then create a platform with, like in line with the actual floor itself, and there you'll be able to like walk from the ladder onto this, and you'll be able to like walk in and out of each particular floor, and you can do the same thing coming all the way up the tower. So here you can see that we have the uh, we have the yellow part. Here, we have the yellow room that we can now walk in, and if we look for the green part, there we go, we can now knock into this, and we now have the green part. And there you will have all of the rooms, nice and separated, and the only thing that we have to do after this, just realise it, is we just have to put a top on the tower. The top of the tower is very easy. First of all, we want to take out our black stained glass, and we want to do a row of black stained glass just above the tower in a cross shape like this. So you want to have it in a cross shape. Then we are going to have a quartz stair in front of the glass on the front and behind the glass on the front as well. And we're going to place a quartz slab right on the top. So you have this sort of effect here. So it all comes to a point like that. And that is wonderful. Or alternatively, we could have it like follow the flow of the stairs that we have on the left and right, actually. And um, we could have it come to a point like this. That actually looks good, and we could do that just so that it all connects together perfectly. But there you go, something like that would look very, very nice. And there you actually have your tower 100% fully completed. And if you want to do the interior as well, like if you want to copy what I have, just go straight back to the front of the video, the start of the video, and that is where I show you all of the interior for the tower if you want to mess about with it further. But this is the actual construction of the tower complete. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please do remember to smack that like button. It really helps me out. It helps the video out. It helps the channel out. And it just makes me a little bit happier. And it might even turn red. You never know. It will probably turn. But it might turn red one of these times. If you hit hard enough, it might turn red. Who knows? Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. I'd really appreciate that. It's subscribe to the channel. Say hello. If you subscribe, I'll say hello back. And also, please do click the little bell next to the subscription button. And that will once again ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to you. So, box other than what happens now, which is sometimes they show up. Also, feel free. Comment down below if you do like these types of houses. Um, why don't you tell me what I should make next? Always interested to see what you guys want me to make. It's I don't always make just random stuff that I like. I also make stuff that you guys like as well, or at least I hope so. Um, if you want to check out any more of the channel, I would highly recommend the card system and the description below, and you'll find a load of playlists in there. That is the card system and the description below. So, for instance, if you wanted to make more modern houses like the one that I've made, like you'd check out the modern house playlist, and here you would find the cube house playlist. Very similar to the house that we've just made, except it looks a little bit different. <laughs> but it's a similar sort of concept concept and we also have like suburban style houses if you checked out the suburban style house playlist and the modern mansion play well the modern house playlist and you'd find modern mansions in there and we have like more modern houses more suburban and so on and so forth we have all different varieties of houses all scattered throughout the channel just check out the actual playlist to find all of them. We also have a City Builds playlist. If you check out the City Builds playlist, it used to be called the Real World Buildings playlist, then you would find all sorts of builds that you would need to make city. You'd have stuff from pubs, supermarkets, um, petrol stations, train stations, skyscrapers, if you go over there far enough, and townhouses. All stuff that you'd need to make a city. Check that out as well, if that's your cup of tea. Oh, and trampoline parks as well. There's my skyscraper there, you can see it. And... My park builds playlist, if you want to check that out, you have everything that you need to make a park and then some. As you can see, we even have some interesting varieties of houses down there, um, ranging from like modern tree houses to tree pods to ultimate survival houses, eco houses, that sort of stuff. And we also have soccer pitches, tennis courts, basketball courts, playgrounds, golden apples, um, hybrid branded koalas, fighting under dragons, stuff like that. You guys know the, the normal stuff that you'd expect to find in a park in real life. And that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, please do explore the channel, subscribe if you do want to to see more stuff like the video really helps me out thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video